Aria, a mythical sanctuary. For thousands of years, the fantastical realm of Aria has remained untouched by the passage of time, far removed from the chaos and struggles that affect the rest of the world. Iridescent flora and verdant trees cover the landscape in brilliant colors as vibrant as the people of Aria themselves. From great mountain ranges glittering with ice and snow to vast forests and lush meadows, the rolling hills of Aria are teeming with life. A true sanctuary, Aria's abundant resources are nurtured by the mysterious energy known as the flow. The flow shapes and changes the landscape as it passes, transforming mountains into valleys, forests into plains. The energy of the flow has created some of the most incredible scenery in all of Wraith, giving life to plains of constant thunderstorms and forests of translucent fungi. The people of Aria are accustomed to a life of comfort, living in a rich, plentiful landscape. Natural defenses and ancient magics protect its people, hiding Aria from the outside world. Generations of a peaceful, carefree lifestyle have cultivated a society rich with bards, musicians, performers, and entertainers, with taverns serving some of the most fantastical liquors and spirits known to man. Yet in recent years, Aria has experienced a transformation. The barriers that once concealed and protected Aria have begun to fracture, revealing its existence for the first time in centuries. Outlanders threaten to breach the borders and enter Aria, while the flow has become unstable, transforming the land at an increasing rate. This once peaceful region has entered a new era of uncertainty as its people rise up to defend their homeland from the outside world. A true sanctuary. For as long as humans have lived in Wraith, Aria has been a safe haven for all who call it home. Its abundant resources provide all that its people could ever need, creating an environment of peace and contentment, free of wars or conflicts. The Flow a wild, unpredictable force of nature. The flow shapes the landscape around it as it ebbs and flows. It shapes all of Aria, folding mountains into valleys, sculpting rivers out of stone, and shifting whole forests from place to place. In areas where it is particularly strong, the flow manifests as streaks of light across the sky, a shining array of vibrant color high above the earth. Everything in Aria from soil to stone to living creature, is born of the flow, and when their time in this world is over, they will return to the flow once more. The flow has given life to some of the most remarkable scenery in all of Wraith, a great expanse of ice, frozen solid even in the heat of summer, deep, dense forests where steam rises from crystal clear rivers, Tears of shining waterfalls, water pink as the first light of dawn, luminescent stone formations that glitter with the light of a thousand stars. Cesari Ethereal creatures born of magic, fading in and out of existence based on the ebb and wane of the flow. While they appear sentient, Cesari are mirages, mere echoes of ancient beings that once roamed this land. They appear as iridescent, semi-translucent phantoms, shimmering as they ripple through the air. Cesari can range from small floating wisps that drift along with the breeze to massive, twin-tailed comets that leave streaks of vibrant light in their wake. The Korsham a massive tree at the heart of Aria, sheltering the village built amongst its branches. The flow is incredibly strong here, breathing life into everything that grows nearby, with sunlight streaming through its leaves, illuminating the many buildings clustered around its base. The Korsham is a welcome sight for newcomers as they chance upon this magical realm. Aizen's Peak a great mountain that has watched over Larenkmorth for generations. 
Despite the passing of time, it remains untouched by the passage of the flow, as if exempt from the transformations that affect the rest of Arya. Larynchmorth's best-known liquor, Aizenri Sake, is named in honor of the mountain, as its pale, icy blue color mimics the gleaming snow of Aizen's peak. Larynchmorth a small town tucked into the mountainside, Lorinkmorth is surrounded by perpetual snow, peaceful and tranquil above a sea of white. Its taverns are a source of warmth, a place to shelter from the cool mountain air. People of Aria The flow fuels everything that grows within Aria. The plants here are large and plentiful, providing everything that its people could ever need. Trees never stop producing fruit, plants grow at a rapid pace, and the creatures are docile and tame. As a result, the people of Arya are free to pursue a more idyllic lifestyle, with many choosing to become musicians, performers, or entertainers. The people of Arya flock to the region's abundant taverns for drinks, stories, music, and entertainment, taking advantage of any excuse for celebration or festivity. While many choose to settle in villages, some pursue a more nomadic lifestyle, traveling across the region. As these nomads pass through villages, they offer help or entertainment, and the village provides for them in return. Arya has no form of currency, as its people function on a simple bartering system based on the idea of equivalent exchange. As a peaceful region abundant with natural resources, its people feel no need to hoard wealth, food, or goods, readily sharing their home with others. The Everfest Carnival The people of Arya are never more excited than when the Everfest Carnival is near. A giant traveling circus, the Everfest Carnival is the size of a small town, boasting hundreds of tents and attractions. The Everfest has been a staple within Aria for centuries, traveling from village to village, growing larger with every passing decade. Some of the oldest families in Aria are part of the Everfest, their ancient traditions evolving to number among its most popular acts. One of the most well-known sections of the Everfest is the Mela, a group of fortune-tellers, seers, oracles, enchantresses, and conjurers. Those within the Mela have talents in the realm of magic, performing acts of mystery and enchantments for those with an open mind. Another section of the Everfest Carnival is the Valder, known for strongman acts and their work with animals. From massive Fianna to fierce Vitreo, these creatures perform before crowds to rousing applause. Some of these creatures also help to transport the carnival, using their strength to pull carts and carry goods. Many other acts exist within the Everfest. Some, such as the Legendarium, are larger acts staged with the help of a team. Others are smaller, the work of small families or individuals. Endless Entertainment the magic of the Everfest comes from its people, those who have made a home within the traveling carnival. Some set up food stalls, weaving spools of spun sugar, making tiny handheld pastries and hot toasted bannock. Others run small bars, providing unique magical spirits and liqueurs. Yet nothing in the Everfest is more enchanting than its entertainers and performers. Trapeze artists flying above the audience, silk dancers weaving their way through the air, escape artists freeing themselves from chains and barrels filled with water, stunt performers who set themselves on fire and throw themselves through a maze of razor-sharp blades. Animal trainers, strongmen, fire breathers, sword swallowers, jugglers, acrobats, contortionists, jesters, harlequins, hoop divers, knife throwers, and actors recreating the legends of old. Some stage their performances within the circus tents, while others perform in the open, enchanting passers-by. Stilt walkers wade through the crowds as bards tell stories and music drifts through the air. Rings of tents hide fortune tellers and oracles, curtains drawn back to reveal the candlelit tables within. Illusions and displays of light weave their way through the air above, while below the enchantresses and illusionists dance, their golden jewelry chiming with every movement. Crafts 
Aria is home to a variety of unique skills, crafts, and talents not found anywhere else in Wraith. Braumeister While taverns are not an uncommon sight in Aria, and many have tried their hand at brewing spirits and ale, Braumeisters are among the most elite of their trade. Spirits made by a Braumeister possess unique effects, depending on the kind of spirit, the ingredients used, and the person brewing it. Wayfarers The first step of any Wayfarer's training is the creation of a dowsing disc, a finely tuned instrument that allows Wayfarers to read the changes in the land around them. In an ever-changing landscape, the help of a wayfarer is invaluable as they map out new paths and discover new locations. Defenders In an era of change where the ancient barriers between Aria and the outside world are breaking down, defenders have risen to protect their home from outsiders. Those who break through and enter Aria with ill intentions, whether to steal or harm, will quickly find themselves at the mercy of patrolling defenders. Groups of defenders can be found traveling between villages, ensuring the safety of their home and keeping an eye out for trouble. Diviners while wayfarers can read the lay of the land, diviners learn to read the flow itself. They can see the currents within the flow and follow patterns to predict how the flow will shape the world around it. Diviners are also able to follow these currents to discover where the flow is strongest and areas more susceptible to change. Shamans Legend speaks of powerful shamans who created incredible displays with a wave of their hand. Now, shamans are best known for their work within the Everfest, creating fleeting mirages by manipulating the flow around them. Dreamers A dreamer is a person with a natural-born gift, the waking sleep, a state in which dreamers can glimpse fragments of the past, present, and future. For some, visions can even come to them when fully awake, glimpsing echoes of what once was and what might yet be. Legends of the Guardians Long ago, when Arya was surrounded by war and strife, the people of Arya were protected by the Guardians. The Guardians were blessed with a connection to an elemental, gifting them with extraordinary abilities. Through years of training, they learned to hone their abilities and transform into incredible warriors blessed with supernatural strength and elemental skills. The flow shaped them, molding them into their perfect protector, tasked with guarding their people and their home. However, as Arya entered an era of peace and the elementals began to fade away, the Guardians soon lost their ancient traditions. Now, as the barrier between Arya and the rest of the world begins to fade, the Guardians are re-emerging, tasked with defending Arya once more. Legend of the Exalted One Long ago, the world of Wraith was cast in darkness, and its people cried out in fear. No plant could grow, no creature could see, and all was silent and still. And so, the Exalted One, great creator of life gave light to the world, plucking two stars from distant skies. One star became the sun and was placed within a chariot of radiant gold. The other became the moon and was placed within a chariot of shining silver. However, all was not yet complete. The Exalted One gave life to two new beings, a pair of divine beings known as Badr and Azra. Bright, lively Badr was given the golden chariot and two swift steeds of vibrant flame. Quiet, thoughtful Azra was given the silver chariot and two gentle steeds of pale frost. At once, the twins took to the sky. The light of golden Badr brought day to the children of Wraith, a time of life and of creation. The light of silver Azra brought night, the time to rest and to recharge. Thus, the people of Wraith flourished beneath the light of the stars, and the twins have proudly fulfilled their duty ever since. Tides of Change 
Great barriers and magical landmarks once protected Arya from the outside world, hiding its existence from the rest of Wraith. However, after many centuries, these barriers have begun to wane, and the ancient magics that once concealed Arya's existence from the rest of the world are failing. More and more outsiders are entering Arya in an attempt to steal from its people, weakening the land in the process. These outlanders are clashing with the people of Arya as they seek to strip Arya of all that makes it magical. They attack anyone who dares to challenge them, taking whatever they wish without a hint of remorse. Defenders and Guardians have risen once more to challenge the Outlanders and protect Arya from those who would harm it. Yet even as the trespassers threaten Arya's borders, the flow has become increasingly unstable, changing and transforming the land faster than ever before. The paths between villages are all but lost, with even the most dedicated wayfarers struggling to mark the rapid changes of the flow. Some of the longest standing landmarks in Arya, great mountains and magical formations that have persisted through centuries of constant change, have since been lost, pulled into the flow's rapid transformation. A Lost Tome this unnamed, damaged journal was found in a cave revealed by the changing of the flow. It is unknown how old the journal is or who owned it, but it remains a dubious record of someone called a guardian, assumedly related to Arya's history in some way. Some of the pages are missing, others show signs of water damage, and the cover is marked with what appears to be burns. We have managed to extract a small excerpt of the tome despite the heavy damage. Creatures The creatures of Arya are incredibly diverse, fantastical, and magnificent beings unlike anything found elsewhere on Wraith. Years of living in a plentiful environment have made them docile, and friendly toward most other creatures. Vitreo A majestic creature with a thick mane, crowned with a series of large crystals that grow out of the top of its skull. In addition to its dense coat, it grows large tusks on either side of its jaw. Kayo these shy, reclusive mammals are notable for their luxurious fur. Their bodies are long and thin, with short legs and a narrow head. Their long white fur is incredibly soft, keeping them warm in winter and cool during the summer. They shed their coats each spring along with the uppermost layer of their hide and will grow a new coat of fur within a few days. These discarded coats are often used in clothing across Arya. Nashari a large beast with a crystalline hide, the Nashari, has skin harder than most forms of metal. In spite of its tough appearance, this creature is known for its docile and friendly nature. Its round eyes and fuzzy tail make the creature incredibly popular with children, who often flock to Nashari in hopes of playing with the creature. Meep these tiny, mischievous creatures are recognized by their long limbs and tails, and colorful feather crests. Meeps are usually found in the vicinity of the Everfest Carnival, traveling along with the carnival and stealing food and shiny objects from its patrons. Fianna These majestic creatures are tall, with long flowing tails, tough skin, and massive antlers crowning the top of their head. Fianna are often used by the Everfest Carnival for their strength and placid nature, helping to move the carnival's many attractions from location to location. One cannot visit the Everfest Carnival without encountering the Meeps. Small, quick, and far too intelligent for their own good, they will quickly single out any patron who is not paying close attention to their belongings. A flash of blue out of the corner of your eye, and poof, they're making off with your grandmother's necklace. It's not always jewelry, of course. Food, potions, crystals, hats, scarves, anything small enough for them to grab. I've even seen one particularly ambitious meep try to steal the dowsing disc right off a wayfarer's arm. Above all else, there's nothing in this world that meeps love more than something shiny. Excerpt from the Chronicles of Arya by Saga Skalda 
Bard of Edda. Crossing the Threshold Occasionally, a wayward soul might find themselves transported to Arya, walking at the base of the great tree of Corsham. The Corsham acts as a gateway, welcoming newcomers into Arya with open arms. It is said that the flow may power the Corsham's ability to pull others through to Arya, attracting those who seek a better life, providing a place for them to start anew. Folk Tales of Arya Wishing Wells Hidden around Arya, wishing wells are almost impossible to find, at least intentionally. Most of the people who come across wishing wells find them by accident, drawn to the well by some unknown force. When drinking of the water within, a person can make a wish, though it may not always come true in the way you might expect. Oskra these rare trees are pale and delicate, their branches drooping downward, their wilting leaves dragging along the ground. However, each of these trees possesses a single fruit, bright red and filled with seeds. The people of Arya commonly believe that these fruits can be used to communicate with the dead. The Other World Legend states that the oldest tree in any forest has a door beneath its roots, which can be used to access a different realm, one known by many different names. Anyone who enters may emerge years later, unable to remember what they saw on the other side. Tempest Plain a large plain that is plagued by perpetual thunderstorms. The ground is stained black, burned to a crisp by the sheets of lightning striking the earth. Anything within the range of the Tempest Plain is immediately struck by a bolt of lightning, turning to dust in an instant. Fenselir According to legend, those who drink of the Eternal Spring, known as Fenselir, will be healed of any injury or illness. The Bleak Expanse A frozen wasteland plagued by constant snowstorms, which remains all but impossible to navigate. Only one path exists through the Bleak Expanse, and any deviation will lead a person back to the point at which they started. The blinding snow and biting cold are devastatingly fatal for anyone who approaches the Expanse unprepared. <laughs> 